All right, everyone. First off, forgive me. My voice is not 100% still. It's a little bit better than yesterday. Blew it out a couple of days ago during a live stream. It is what it is. Uh, and we're going to be talking about some Skyward Sword HD stuff today. Uh, and if you hear my kids in the background, I apologize as well. They're playing. What am I going to do? It's the weekend. Things get nuts in my house on the weekend. That being said, I am giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise and two $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift cards. To enter, head down to the description of the pinned comment. That's three total winners this month. I wish everybody luck. Now, here's what's awesome about Skyward Sword HD. It's one of the best Zelda games ever made, in my opinion. <laughs> but really, I have an issue with the way Nintendo is marketing this game. And I don't think they're doing this intentionally. I just think it's not the best way to do it. Now, this is a personal opinion. This is a discussion piece. You can feel free to disagree with me, and that's okay. When they announced Skyward Sword HD, they mentioned how elements of Breath of the Wild began in Skyward Sword. Stamina meter, as an example. The sailcloth, etc. And they're not wrong. And I thought this was okay to mention it at the time to create some familiarity to Breath of the Wild players and give them a reason to maybe, hmm, let me see where these things started out. But the problem is this marketing is continuing after the announcement. And... I'm a little bit worried it's going to taint people's experiences with Skyward Sword, a game that already has tainted experiences back in 2011. Here's the tweet put out by Nintendo of America a couple days ago. Did you know that the original release of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword introduced features like a stamina gauge, upgrading gear, and descending using a sailcloth? These elements were later adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And it's weird because one of those elements isn't really in Breath of the Wild. The whole upgrading gear, you upgrade your actual, like you get a slingshot, you get a bow, you upgrade that individual item several times. That's not how Breath of the Wild works. You can upgrade your four abilities, like Stasis Plus, Magnesis Plus, but like your actual gear doesn't really upgrade. You just get new gear. That's not the same thing, Nintendo. Getting new gear is not the same thing as upgrading gear. So that's a little weird. It's actually going to probably show people a feature they wish was in Breath of the Wild. Um, just like they wish you could repair gear. But what I think is really interesting is that the way they are showing this off, right? So they show the stamina meter. Okay, yeah, they show Link sprinting. That, that's how it works in Breath of the Wild. But then they show him climbing the vines. It's creating this expectation that these elements in Skyward Sword work in a similar fashion to the way they do in Breath of the Wild. And it's going to lead to a lot of Breath of the Wild gamers being frustrated with Skyward Sword. And I felt like they probably already were going to be in some ways, but at least don't create the expectation of mechanics. And I think that's what Nintendo's doing here is by relating the two games and reminding people again... I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to advertise the game, but they're also, in a way, almost subconsciously overpromising what Skyward Sword is. Skyward Sword, by the way, is a fantastic Zelda game. One of my favorite Zelda games in the whole series. That's why I mentioned before it's one of the best games. Like, yeah, it's in my top five. But here's the thing these features don't work in Skyward Sword. Anything, like, there's almost zero relation beyond the sprinting ability from Link. The stamina meter does not work pretty much at all like it does in Breath of the Wild outside of sprinting. There's literally no correlation at all. It's, you know, not even why even bring it up kind of thing. Uh, upgrading gear doesn't work that way in Breath of the Wild at all. It's not even comparable. Okay. Um, you know, the, the ability to catch bugs, right? Like the show. <laughs> they have a screenshot here. You guys saw it earlier. We're like, oh, it shows Link holding the bug. He caught a bug. It doesn't have anything to do with cooking. There, there's no useful... It, ugh. And then, obviously, the worst thing is mentioning the sailcloth. Now, they didn't show it off in the screenshots in this tweet, but they bring it up again, descending using a sailcloth. You just drop straight down, okay? It's not like a parachute. It's not like, um, you know... The, the, the glider in Breath of the Wild. You literally just drop straight down. 
The, the, there's no other use for it. You just drop straight down. You can't fly all over and zip all over and jump off a cliff and sail off to, you know, different. Like, it doesn't work that way in this game. It's very limited in how you can use the sailcloth. And I feel like that's going to frustrate people that enjoy the freedom of Breath of the Wild. And yes, this game isn't Breath of the Wild. And it doesn't need to be. But making these associations as a one-off mention when you announced the game to me was fine. But to continue to bring up these associations as an advertising point to Breath of the Wild players, it's just people are going to play this game and be significantly disappointed it doesn't work like Breath of the Wild because Nintendo is almost creating expectations that elements of Breath of the Wild are in this game when really that's not how this game functions. Yes, you can argue the initial ideas maybe began here, but that's it. It would be nice for them to emphasize that a sailcloth in Skyward Sword is nothing like the item in Breath of the Wild. It would be nice for them to mention, oh, we have a stamina meter, but like it's nothing. Like, how, oh, yeah, you can climb in this game, but it's just like all the other Zelda games. You can only climb vines. You can't just climb anything. Um, and for some reason, they attach a stamina meter to the climbing mechanic, which I thought was dumb in the first place, since Zelda never needed a, that before to climb vines. Now, in, in Breath of the Wild, I don't mind it because you're climbing cliffs and everything, but... Uh, yeah, it, it was weird. It was a weird addition at the time for Skyward Sword. And yeah, you can capture bugs, and that's cool, but I mean, you can in Twilight Princess as well. Don't see anybody caring about that. You know, I, I just think that Nintendo's entering dangerous territory where they're going to sell a lot of copies of Skyward Sword HD. And there's already been pricing controversies and all that, but Skyward Sword HD is going to fly off shelves. But... I think it has a chance to sour people's trust in Nintendo uh, in, in a certain way. Like when Link's Awakening remake came out, it wasn't going to sour any of the Breath of the Wild stuff because it's just a fundamentally different game. But it's because it's top down, all that jazz. No one expected when you looked at Link's Awakening, you didn't think, oh man, this is Breath of the Wild. Like, no. When you look at Skyward Sword and it being a 3D, you know, game. It, it cre there's this expectation that the last 3D Zelda game I really dove into was Breath of the Wild. And now I'm going to play Skyward Sword, and it's a blast from the past, but also, hey, it's a major Zelda game, and hey, they keep mentioning all these features that began here for Breath of the Wild, and hey, none of these features remotely work anything like they do in Breath of the Wild, to the point that you can argue these features existing in Skyward Sword are not relatable to Breath of the Wild at all. So, I don't know. It, 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 it's a situation where I don't. I like these features. I like being able to upgrade your slingshot, upgrade your bow, upgrade items in Breath of the Wild. I like upgrading the shields as an example in Breath of the Wild. I like that. I like, uh, or Breath of the Wild, and Skyward Sword. Um, I like, you know, some of the stamina thing with the sprinting. I like the sailcloth in some instances in the game, just for quick dropping down certain levels. But at the same point, it's very restrictive and works nothing like it does in Breath of the Wild. So I, I I just worry that this game that I feel is amazing is they just fix the motion controls, which people are still going to struggle with, but they just fixed the motion controls for people who don't like them. And now they're pushing Breath of the Wild players to buy this game with expectations of certain features being there from Breath of the Wild, which aren't really existent i'm just maybe i'm overthinking this but personally i'm very concerned that this is the marketing route nintendo is going uh you guys let me know down in the comments below because hey look if you play breath of the wild haven't played any other zelda game i'm telling you now skyward sword's great it's nothing like breath of the wild don't buy into the marketing oh these ideas started technically true also they're nothing like they are in breath of the wild so don't have expectations that stamina works the same, that item upgrades are the same. I mean, they're not even in. I, I literally don't get the item upgrade comparison because in Breath of the Wild, you just get new items. You don't upgrade existing ones. Not really. Not really. I mean, you can eat food and get bonus attack and all this, but it's, it's anyways. All right, folks. I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.